The cool thing about Germany is that it's such an old country compared to Canada. Um, I know when I went abroad in 2011, I was there for Canada, I was there during the summer semester, and all of my German roommates were like, wow, Canada is so young. The age of your country is younger than our university. So just because of all those layers and layers of history and different powers that have come in and gone, there, there's so much to offer in almost any discipline. I believe that language is the key to any culture. So even if you just wanted to go abroad to backpack or to find yourself through traveling, you'll never really be an insider to a culture by just speaking English and trying to force your own language and way of communication upon them. It's the most spoken language in Europe. It's spoken not only in Germany, there it's also spoken in Austria in a little variation, parts of the Netherlands, uh, Switzerland, and some parts of Sweden. So you can more or less travel through the Western area and be able to understand something. Well, everyone wants to see Berlin. There are so many layers of culture. It's kind of like a European Toronto and New York all smushed together. It's cool to go to Berlin because everyone speaks English, no matter where you go. Even if you try to speak German, if they notice you have an accent, they'll switch to English. But there are a lot of other places in Germany. Um, York specifically has ties um, to the province of Baden-Württemberg. There's a university in Constance, which is at the south of Germany and borders Germany, Switzerland, and Austria. So it's, it's pretty cool, it's a lake and you can get on a boat and go from one country to another country. Also in Baden-Württemberg, I studied in Freiburg where the education program at York has an exchange to. That's where I left my heart. It's in the Black Forest, which borders France and Germany. Um, Black Forest cake here is nothing compared to Black Forest cake in the Black Forest. If you go to Bavaria, that's where your German stereotypes come from of the Drindles and the Lederhosen and the Lieder mugs of beer and where Oktoberfest is in Munich. If you want to go to something that feels like Oktoberfest but is more authentic, there's a whole bunch of other Volksfests throughout the summer. Um, I've been to ones in Stuttgart, also in Baden-Württemberg, and um, Nuremberg, which is in Bavaria. Anywhere you go in Bavaria, probably the friendliest part of Germany. Um, they have accents that if you've learned Hochdeutsch you won't understand, but they're the place in Germany that if you try to speak German, they'll speak it back to you and they'll be like, great, like you're trying, we'll speak to you. If you want something kind of similar to Toronto, you could go to Hamburg. It's, uh, it's a harbor city. You can take boat tours and probably the best fish I've ever had. After my exchange, I love Germany so much, I went back last summer to work uh, to teach English as a foreign language in a summer camp. And I worked in Bavaria for a month and stayed with various host families. 